This is Valley News Live at noon. We start with breaking news going on right now. A major emergency response is happening in a small town in Richland County, North Dakota. Crews rushed to the grain elevator in Barney for reports of smoke coming from the basement. Fire crews are trying to figure out if there is in fact a fire. Here's a picture from the scene. Right now there is no confirmation if a fire is burning. Granaries are notoriously difficult to fight fires and can turn catastrophic in just minutes. Barney is a small town about 20 miles west of Wapaton. Stay right here as we follow this story. Also, local breaking news at noon. A car erupted into flames near downtown Fargo. It happened around 1115 this morning. You'll see some flames coming from that vehicle there. Crews were able to get it under control quickly. We do have questions into the Fargo Fire Department about what happened. Taking that live look outside right now for your weather looks very nice out there. And if you like the cooler weather, it feels nice too. Lisa Green is in with a check of your forecast. Good afternoon, Lisa. Good afternoon. Yeah, I think it's feeling pretty good for a lot of folks here today, especially if you are uh, looking for that break from the heat to last. We're looking at some clouds that have developed as the morning has go gone along. This is similar to yesterday. If you remember yesterday, we started with sun and then the clouds developed. Same thing here today. We've got temperatures that are still in the 60s across much of the valley. Fargo's at 69. It's 68 in Grand Forks. Bemidji, a cool 62 and 70 right now in Fergus Falls. We'll see more places get to 70 here, but it will take some time. And in addition to that, there are going to be places that may never get to 70 on this day. It's July and we're talking about highs in the 60s for some of us here in northwest Minnesota, where you see more clouds and where we're seeing not much precipitation, but there are some spotty areas of green on the map showing up there. All part of the weather rotating around that big low that's been influencing our conditions a last couple of days. So again, this lasts for another day today. Temperatures will rise into the mid 70s for Fargo with generally dry conditions and a bit breezy too. So we'll be talking about that where we may see some of that rain this afternoon and there is a big warm up ahead. We'll talk about that summertime heat returning in just a couple of minutes. OK, we'll check it again. Lisa, thank you. New for you at noon. A kid has been charged with DUI after police say they were speeding in a Fargo neighborhood early this morning, crashing into multiple mailboxes and sideswiping a building all before rolling to a stop. Police say at 155 this morning they responded to a single vehicle crash in the 1700 block of 35th Avenue South in Fargo. The driver also hit an electrical box and a tree before rolling their vehicle. The driver and passenger, both juveniles, have non-life threatening injuries. The driver was referred to juvenile court for several charges. Also new at noon, authorities are warning people about fake money going around Traverse County, Minnesota. Authorities say this fake $100 bill was passed in Wheaton. You'll notice the pink markings on the left of it. The Sheriff's Department is reminding people to fully examine bills before accepting them. Grand Forks Police are conducting a two-day training session starting today at Schrader Middle School. It started at 10 o'clock and went until just a few minutes ago at noon. It will be going on both days. People will see a variety of first responder vehicles around that building. North Dakota Attorney General Drew Wrigley says he has recertified the state's trigger law connected to the Roe v. Wade abortion ruling and delivered that certification to the North Dakota Legislative Council last night. The trigger ban was set to go into effect today to make abortions illegal in the state, but a judge yesterday afternoon issued a temporary restraining order. Burley County Judge Bruce Romanek says Wrigley prematurely attempted to execute the language of North Dakota's trigger law. Romanek says the official certification of the Supreme Court's decision was not issued until July 26, just two days ago, and parties are allowed 25 days to ask for a rehearing. Abortion services will continue at the Red River Women's Clinic for the time being, while the case makes its way through the courts. A post on the clinic's Facebook page says all they ever wanted was for the state to follow the rules, and they are relieved that the judge recognized that. Minnesota could have tens of millions of dollars coming in to help deal with the opioid epidemic. State Attorney General Keith Ellison announced that Minnesota and a coalition of states have hammered out a tentative agreement on a $4 billion settlement with opioid manufacturer Teva Pharmaceuticals. Minnesota's financial share of that settlement is yet unspecified. The AG's office says preliminary data from the state health department shows that from 2020 to 2021, 
Opioid overdose deaths increased by 35 percent to an all-time high of 924 in 2021. Statistics also indicate for every drug overdose death, there were approximately 10 non-fatal drug overdoses as well. Two airlines are wanting to merge. JetBlue is buying Spirit Airlines. The sale will be about $3.8 billion. This will create the nation's fifth largest airline if the merger is approved by the government. Some worry the normally low-cost options that Spirit provides will go away if it merges. Antitrust regulators will look into all of this before giving their stamp of approval. Officials with JetBlue say the acquisition would make it a national challenger to the four major airlines that now control 80 percent of U.S. air traffic. Preliminary plans for the Island Park Pool Project are ready, and the Fargo Park District wants and the Fargo Park District rather wants to know what you think about it. At an open house tonight, you can view the designs and get updates on the status of that project. Architects and others involved in that project will be on hand to explain and answer questions. It's happening at the depot along Main Avenue from 6 to 7 tonight. Coming up at noon, concern over the economy. The newest figures have some people worried about money. But next, we Lisa Green is in with a cool day. We'll stay that way for the next couple of hours. She lets us know when a warm-up is in store.